I'm here at Hot Springs Memorial Field one more time with Airport Director George Downey as he wraps up his career here with the city of Hot Springs. Welcome, George. Well, thank you, Terry. It's good to have you here. Well, we've had a few interviews over the years together, right. talked about a lot of accomplishments and things going on at the airport. Right. And we don't have time for a full retrospective today. That's, that's true. So we have a few minutes. And, but some things I never get in is thanks to the city board and the mayors and the past city boards and the advisory committees. I want to get that up front because we owe them a, a gratitude, a big gratitude for all their support over the years. Without which you couldn't accomplish anything we here. We could not accomplish anything without the board of directors' support. The chamber is a big, big supporter. So we want to thank them all. Well, yes, well, George, partnerships are what it's all about here at the airport. You've forged many new partnerships over the years. Mm -hmm. um, tell us how many years ago you got started and some of the highlights along mm -hmm. the way. Well, uh, 25 years total, a couple years as a contract employee, 22 and a half years at the airport as a city employee, and uh, as a property manager, and then 20 years as the airport director. And uh, it's been a uphill battle for the first 10, 12 years, but it's been a pleasure ever since. And there have been a lot of highlights along the way. Would you like to mention some of them? Well, uh, hangers. Hangar construction, meeting the demand from the flying public. Uh, we've created 70-something new hangars to go with uh, a few hangars that we had here in those 25 years. Uh, we created a economic benefit to the community of over 52 million a year annually. Uh, we over 500 jobs at our peak here on airport property in the community. Um, we develop a uh, technology industrial park. We developed the Bill Edwards Center, and it's just uh, it's been just constant developing and uh, redeveloping the airport. Because in one of the years you had some uh, considerable grant monies to improve the terminal here building yes, here. Yes, we did. Uh, and that year we uh, it, the terminal was just a small part of the uh, overall picture of uh, over four million dollars. Uh, is bond money and grant money, and uh, over the years uh, we've received uh, nearly six million from the state aeronautics, uh, thirteen million from the FAA, and another million from the Economic Development uh, Commission at uh, in at the Capitol. So we continue to get those grants. We continue to use those grants. We're wrapping up 1.3 million dollar in projects, mainly grants. Uh, we probably put another three million of airport funds into these developments as matching, and uh, we bought capital items. We've upgraded our equipment, so we've got some of the best equipment in the state. We got the best trained staff in the state, and uh, people look up to us uh, from across the state uh, air, on the aviation side. Well, and I'm sure they look to your expertise and experience too. We get a lot of questions, and we got visitors uh, next next week and this week uh, from other airports, seeing how we uh, do our leasing, how, how we do a lot of uh, improvements, and how we are able to be self-sustaining as the FAA requires us to be. So, how do you see going forward the airport developing further than where it is now? Uh, we, with the staff that we have in place, uh, the trained staff, I see them. Uh, continuing the development of hangars next year. Uh, over a million dollars in hangar development is planned for 2016. Uh, grants from the state and matching funds from the airport uh, fund. It's all in the budget. So hangars continue to be in demand. Hangars continue to be in demand. Uh, we see commercial. You know, we've lost AAR, uh, but uh, overall picture, uh, maybe a three, $300,000 loss in revenue, but we, we didn't have them before. So this is just a continuing effort. We've already rented one of those vacant hangars. Uh, we're getting revenue off of that. So you know, now it's a challenge for 2016 and ending 2015 budget-wise, but we're okay. We're within budget 
and we're going we're gonna to survive. Where do you see the industry trending here f from here on out? You've obviously had to reinvent the airport several times over right. the years. Well, you know, um, it was the smaller regional jets, now it's the larger regional jets. Um, uh, we, our main part of our business is not commercial aircraft, but general aviation aircraft. That's your individual and corporate owners. So we got to concentrate on that. We got to attend uh, conferences to attract those customers and increase our fuel sales. That's a big part of our revenue. And what's floating us now is our real estate part of the airport, the hangar rentals, ground rentals, and building rentals. So, but we, we will survive, and, but we got to concentrate on increasing our general aviation sales. What about essential air service? Central air service is, it looks like it's uh, due to some changes with the Memphis uh, hub. I think we're in good shape for the future. It looks like you've rescued that iron from the fire many times. Well, I think uh, the reduction of Memphis from a major hub down to a small hub is, uh, is our lifesaver on the EAS essential air service. Mm -hmm. And Seaport in general gets good marks? Seaport in general gets good marks. They're going to Houston now. Uh, the ridership is up. Um, I can see that improving. And uh, addition of another flight uh, with another aircraft to the same places. And I see it uh, being beneficial to Hot Springs Flyers. Well, that sounds like a good forecast for the future. It does. Leaving things here in good shape. Yep. Yeah. Things are in good shape, money's in the bank uh, for future development and matching funds and uh, you got some good people and good staff members, Lance Spicer, Bill Burrow, the board, I mean they're, they're, all, they're all backing us so we're in good shape. Well, one of the questions I was going to ask you is what did, do you feel is your best accomplishment over the years, but I have a feeling it has nothing to do with the airport. It has airport. nothing to do with the airport. It has to do with my wife and my children and the, the two great kids I have. And I couldn't ask for a better wife and uh, I owe all of that to them. Well, that certainly means a lot over the years as you do what you have to do we here do. at the airport to uh, have that kind of support. We have that kind of, I have that kind of support from her, my friends and the staff. Fantastic. So, future plans for you? Future plans, enjoy the Arkansas outdoors, fishing, canoeing, hiking, camping, and uh, love hot springs. We play tourist a lot, so we're going to be doing a lot of tour playing tourist downtown, uh, but uh, just enjoying Arkansas. Well, that is right in line with what people view you as, uh, an expert in economic development, seeing the airport as an economic generator right. for not just Hot Springs, but the region. And so now you're going to be on the other end enjoying that, uh -huh. the, the benefits of that economic that, that development is, that, to, to the area that you've been promoting for so many years. That is true. And Arkansas's uh, number one export is the aerospace industry, services and products. So. You know, airports play a vital role in that in the state of Arkansas. We need to be reminded of that. Yes, we do. Continually. George, thank you for keeping the airport um, doing so well despite changes in technology, budget, you name it. Mm -hmm. um, Hot Springs Memorial Field has continued to grow and prosper. Well, thank you, Terry. Well, thank you very much. We wish you all the best in the future. We're going to miss George Downey. I know many of you viewing feel the same. We appreciate his service all these years to the city of Hot Springs and to all of the customers that have passed through the airport over the years. Thank you for saying that. Thank Thanks you. for joining us today. And next week, we'll bring you more city news.